it's Monday. It's time for us to fly into the night. So, hey, it's Monday again. Um, you know, it happens weekly, so that's a thing. Um, a lot of ha has happened since, uh, since you saw me last. I went to Calgary, we went to Cross Iron Mills, and we, um, surprised my cousin at the airport, because she was coming back from Egypt, she's been, uh, she's been there for three months, and I got a teddy bear, I built a bear, and his name is Lestrade, named him after Sherlock, so, yeah, today was Super Mega Foxy Awesome Hot, because I went shopping with Melissa, um, and yeah, it was a good time, I bought three things. I bought a yoga and and I bought a new poster, and I was really excited about it because I was just, I was looking through the posters. There are never any big time rush posters, and it's like, sometimes it's good to like, um, a less well-known bo boy band, because their concert tickets are less, but sometimes it's worse because there's not as much merchandise. We went into Claire's, there were like three shelves full of One Direction stuff, like one shelf full of Cody Simpson things. How many things were there of Big Time Rush? Two. Their CD, which I already had, and a t-shirt with them on it. One for little girls, and two, their faces were all deformed in it. What are you doing to me? So I was really excited, because there are never any Big Time Rush posters, and every time I've gotten a Big Time Rush poster, like, I got that one. Um, when Jess, who used to be Friday, found it and she texted me, do you want me to get it for you? Yes, I do. Thank you. This one, that one over there, um, Kelly found, my friend Kelly found for me and she texted me, do you want it? Yes, I do. Thank you. So when I finally found my own, I was so excited about it and that's where that's gonna go. I've already moved everything out of the way. I was like, where am I supposed to fit it? I have so much stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's where it's gonna go and it looks like that. My Twilight books, see? They actually have a purpose. And I, I put those on there for it to flatten out. And it's very exciting. Yay! Also, I got Clue. See? Clue. And, um, since Melissa has, uh, nah, 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 challenged me, I was thinking about Clue. And I saw this one John Marbles video where she said, Clue is so much more fun to play when you change everything. So instead of all those characters, you have, you know, you make up your own, right? So me and Melissa, since we weren't shopping, we went and had, had nothing to do for a while, we decided to make all of, we changed all the weapons, we changed all the guests, we changed all the rooms. And I wrote it down right on this thing. And so Melissa challenged me to say who I usually play in Clue. I usually play as uh, Miss Scarlet or whatever her name is. Lady Scarlet, whatever. Yeah, her. But since I have changed it, and we have changed it, let me read them out to you. I use stuff from each of my fandoms. So, all of the guests, we have Rumpelstiltskin, Lestrade, John and Hank Green, Luna Lovegood, Perry the Platypus, and Lauren Lopez. Uh, so, I think that I will play as Perry the Platypus. Okay, cool. Challenge complete. For our rooms, we have Disney World, The Great Hall, the, uh, I need to sneeze. No, I'm fine. Disney World, The Great Hall, The Island, from Lost, Narnia, Ruse Tree, Leaky Con, uh, The Palm Woods 2J, which is the hotel room that Big Time Rush is in in their TV show, Moriarty's Pool, and Camp Half-Blood. And then for weapons, we have Cato's Sword, Caesar's Smile, Sawyer's Gun, Avada Kedavra, James's Face, Rachel's Singing, Merida's Bow, Thor's Hammer, and Buttercup. So that's a thing. If the whole order was challenged to show their bathing suits. Let me get that for you. Uh, I'm gonna challenge someone to... I'm gonna challenge someone to say who they would play in Clue if they made up their own characters. Okay? Me, Perry the Platypus, Cool Beans. Alright. Got it? You know, does it make sense? A little bit? Alright, cool. If you're confused, just talk to me. That didn't go well. Where was my dice? Where did it go? My baby. Okay. That's a five, so that's for Adara. Okay, here's my bathing suit. These are the shorts that I wear over top. These are the bottoms. And here's the top. It's like supposed to be strapless, tanky thing, but like I use this thing to put it in, so it's not strapless. Cool. And then I also have this. Ah, I'm falling. 
have this thing, it's kind of like a towel, but it's like a dress that you put over it, so it keeps you dry when you need to be dry right afterwards so you don't have to like carry around a towel. It's cool. Cool. Awesome. Good talk. Um, yeah, I don't have a hang with Steven and Tyler this week because I haven't been hanging with Steven and Tyler, but I'll see them tomorrow. That doesn't really help very much, does it? Yeah. That's awkward. The theme for this week is going to be food week. I feel like my themes, my theme ideas, like whenever I say like superhero week, I just talk about my favorite superhero. You guys have so much time to figure out what you're going to do that, you know, I just, uh, you know what I've been thinking? After we finish this list of themes, I'd like someone else to take over the themes. Um, we can pretend that someone else is the beginning of the week because honestly, I'm a little bit tired of it. I've been doing it for over a year. And so I don't want to start the themes anymore. I just don't. Is that okay? Sorry. I just, yeah. We have like four weeks left of this, though. So, yeah. So on Friday, I saw Brave, and it was really good. And, you know, a lot of people have been criti critiquing it about how it was a really good storyline, but, you know, it's kind of hard to understand their Scottish accents. I understood their Scottish accents just fine. But I did think that the uh, storyline was a little bit predictable. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. My dog's pretty excited about life. Hi, buddy. That's the thing. Um, I have gotten Melanie's. Adara's, Melissa's, and Ashley's letters. So I'm still waiting for Kristen and Christine and Jacob. I'm gonna make some food. What should I make? Just don't know. So I was gonna make something, but I don't really have anything to make and we're gonna be eating supper soon. So I feel like that would just be counterproductive. So yeah, either I'll do food week next week or I will, or I'll just talk about my favorite foods. Um, my mom makes this casserole called broccoli rice casserole and it's one of my favorites as well as she makes this thing called upside down pizza and it's like pizza but it's upside down. It's like a casserole and there's like the bread on top and then like on the bottom it's like the pizza. It's cool. It's like an upside down deep dish pizza or something. So yeah maybe I'll make something next week but not right now. This week's Harry Potter character of the week is Horace Slughorn, and I've decided that you probably don't really care about how many mentions they got. So yeah, Horace Slughorn. Okay. Slughorn's picture, like a boss. I said boss, not boss. That's really embarrassing. Oh well, I'm not doing it again. Professor Horace E. F. Slughorn was the potions master and head of Slytherin House at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. He was potions professor for over 50 years and head of Slytherin before retiring in 1981. He was a friend and colleague of Albus Dumbledore who persuaded him to return to the post in 1996. Dumbledore enlisted the help of Harry Potter to accomplish this, together with the help of Slughorn's own fond memories of Harry's mother. After retrieving a memory from Slughorn, it became apparent to both Harry and Dumbledore that young Tom Riddle had used information he finessed from, finessed from Slughorn to achieve immortality. During the Battle of Hogwarts, Slughorn sided with the defenders of Hogwarts and engaged his, formal, his former pupil in a duel. Yeah. You know, I like Slughorn, because he shows that not all Slytherins are bad. It's like, not all Gryffindors are brave, Wormtail. Not all Hufflepuffs are, like, lame. Tonks. Not all Ravenclaws are super smart. Lockhart. And, um, not all Slytherins are bad. Slughorn. You know? So yeah, DFTBA, I would use my other hand if I wasn't holding the camera. And, uh, Christina, I will see you tomorrow. Also, I put up the fourth chapter of my fan fiction, so you should go and look in the description and read it. Okay, bye. Is it filming? Say hi. Hi. I don't wanna. Get in the tube. But I have to. They're going on the hurricane simulator. Robin, you go.
Nice hair, Erica. Woo! I had a hurricane today. I don't know how to get out. <laughs> <laughs> How's my hair? It, how do I look? Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Good. How's that? That was fine. It's not bad. It's terrible.